reports are crazy. They attempt to reach past the thin veil of this reality and touch with their pencils that core of beauty which is the essence of everything. They always fail, yet they try again and again, like a moth in its efforts to reach the flame. Upon an ocean of facts, amid waves of impossibilities, they float, imprisoned inside transparent bubbles of dreams. And it's so hard for poets to make it among sane people because they're always wondering while everyone else is satisfied, always frightened while others feel secure. And the only scars they have to show for the wounds that caused them so much pain are their poems. Poets are always laughing while others cry, and crying as others laugh, and each poem that causes them to die is a breath of life. Each breath of life kills them. And every time someone says to them, I understood that poem, they say to themselves, how could you have understood that poem? It wasn't written for you to understand it, but yourself. Then you would know how much I love you, though we've never met before this, and that would cause you to cry for me as I bleed for you. For only in a mixture of my blood and your tears will there ever be found understanding. So that makes poets crazy people who step on broken glass to keep from walking on the flowers in their efforts to find something that will empty them as it fills them. I scared of dying. My greatest challenge is living. Waking up every day still unforgiving. I never figured life would be like this. I had ambitions. I had dreams but lost focus. Blurred vision. So now I'm living for what? What is my purpose for being? I'm barely breathing in this beast. Difficulty seeing. I ain't blind. My mind is wide open. So far but still these walls is closing in. Closer to this. It's my life. It's my love. It's my joy. It's my pain. It's my up. It's my down. It's my blood. It's my pain. It's my power, it's my pride, it's my gift, it's my curse, it's my freedom, it's my please, as I spit this verse, it's my mind, it's my ground.